Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video, I'd like to talk about Doctor Who, specifically relating to a comment that I got recently from a frequent commenter on my channel, Mid Atlantic Gal, who was responding to a video I posted recently in the last week or so, gauging the modern series companions in Doctor Who. That is to say, choosing my most favorite and my least favorite and that kind of thing, giving reasons as to why. And the two biggies I chose as my favorites were Donna Noble and Rose Tyler. Now, in response to that video, Mid-Atlantic Al has posted a comment saying where it pertains to Rose Tyler, she really couldn't stand the character once she got past her time with the Ninth Doctor and there was the regeneration. Um, you know, she felt that Russell T. Davies really ramped up the fan fiction elements of the depiction of, you know, Doctor and Companion as far as making Rose really catty and jealous and, uh, you know, just really the focal point and the emphasis for the Doctor himself. You know, that's pretty much, you know, he wouldn't look beyond Rose, put it that way. And I have to agree to disagree in certain aspects because I feel like most of that summarization can be chalked up to when she was possessed with Lady Cassandra and no more. Um, I really don't think, you know, she was jealous. I don't think uh, that cattiness, other than on a maybe brief occasion, um, you know, I really didn't see that. I really felt like Rose Tyler was awed by the Doctor. You know, he won her over through his ninth incarnation with the awe and wonder of time and space. And post-regeneration, when he became sort of a younger-looking man, much livelier, bouncy, uh, you know, he had a quickened step. And he was somewhat more free of the turmoil. It wasn't wiped away entirely, but he was able to better manage the turmoil and the darkness in his soul that was left behind by the time war and what he had to do in it. He began to reciprocate for Rose and kind of whiner and diner a little bit. He, he was taking her out on dates across time and space. And as compared to like Donna Noble, my other choice as far as favorites, I feel like she and Rose were cut from the same cloth or at least opposite sides of the same coin in that, you know, you had all of that as far as the awe and the wonder and being along for the ride and everything like that. But there was no romance as there was with Rose. It was more camaraderie. And of course, Donna was very, you know, sharp-witted, and she'd needle the Doctor on occasion, call his bluff. So, you know, you have these different kinds of characters, and it brought up an interesting question to my mind that I want to put out there for my fellow Whovians who are familiar especially with the modern series, but whether you like the modern, the classic, or both, um, which do you believe was the more realistic interpretation of the dynamic between companion and Doctor? It's my contention and my belief that seven times out of ten if the Doctor really existed in our universe, was a real being, came up, you know, to your door, whisked you off into time and space, that you would become infatuated, whether male or female, whether, uh, you know, whatever your sexuality, I really believe that on some level, either romantically, familially, you know, feeling a connection familial-wise or camaraderie, friendship-wise, or as I say, romantically, seven out of ten times, that would be the natural reaction, like it was for Rose. Whereas that other 3% in that 7 out of 10 would be the Donna Nobles and the people who would be along for the ride, wouldn't miss it for the world, but wouldn't necessarily have that romantic side to it. And uh, so that is my question. Whether you believe, you know, what you believe is the more realistic sort of depiction of a companion. Uh, a romantically infatuated one, which, you know, if fandom is any way to gauge, we know the answer. <laughs> Just look at that fandom. But in either case, you know, for both companions, it wasn't meant to last. It's not meant to last for any of them. And at the end of the day, this is just kind of an academic inquiry as far as what you personally think, not what you think is better suited to be watched, but what you think would be the realistic turn if the doctor showed up and whisked you off into time and space. Could you be infatuated with him? Not necessarily romantically, but friendship or familial wise. Let me know down below. I'd be really curious to hear your answers. And otherwise, I hope you're all doing well, and I'll catch you later. Peace.